only way we can begin is to begin and that means committing ourselves to the conversations that need to take place and committing ourselves to the new practices of being, of being church, of being seminary. We have to commit to those practices. One of the things we've said from the very beginning is that we weren't interested in just starting a church. We were interested in starting a movement. And for me, what that means in terms of a movement is a large, a large group of leaders, really. People who are ready to lead in their own capacities and their own spheres of influence. So what we do at Pulse is we just encourage everyone to find ways in which they can exercise leadership in their everyday spheres of life. And then we come together and we try to resource those folks and say, hey, what do you need? Uh, do you need, uh, do you need to learn more about this or learn more about that? Do you need to be connected to someone who can help you live out this purpose of being a leader where it is God has called you? I see Columbia cultivating leaders in two ways, primarily. The first is when students come into the seminary and start encountering the faculty, fellow students, their reading, their writing, their deep discussions with one another. That's very profoundly transformational. Certainly one of the goals and one of the effects of a seminary education is not to just keep students in isolated and insulated from the real world, but to send them out. A couple weeks ago, some of our students went down to the state capitol in downtown Atlanta to provoke the kind of change that they believe is an implication of the gospel in the political arena. So we are very aware of that deep call and responsibility. The legislature here in Georgia, um, really big decisions around places that we can carry firearms, really important issues about health care. Uh, most recently, uh, I've been working with a group of, of fellow Georgians um, to, to help uh, temper the movement of expanding uh, access to firearms to all places and all types of firearms. Um, we would like for these things to be measured. Working to, to meet with legislators and meet with the lieutenant governor and, and meet with the governor um, to, to just ask them to be considerate of Georgian safety and to recognize that there is not a single narrative around that. Namely, most recently, that we don't think guns should be allowed in college classrooms. Um, we think that those are uh, spaces of learning and where ideas need to be tested and, um, and that those should feel like safe spaces. When students are active in supervised ministry settings of, of a wide variety of contexts, when students travel globally and they encounter Christian communities in contexts that are not familiar with them, that also cultivates their sense of what it means to be a faithful pastoral leader in God's world today. So I think community is a huge part of life at Columbia, and I think Columbia has a beautiful community. It is the most diverse community I've ever been a part of, with ages and race and ethnicity and even religious backgrounds and denominations. But I think the school does a really good job of coming together. Uh, we have weekly potlucks, which is an excellent time for people to just slow down and share a meal together, and that is organic and wonderful and always involves a lot of laughter. That is kind of the picture of this Columbia community, and I think practicing being the kingdom here in seminary better equips us to be community and to practice kingdom living.